Hello. Welcome to the second semester generic English course. I am Dr. Vidya Patil, serving as Associate Professor of English at Government First Rate College for Women, Bita. I will be guiding and assisting you during this course. In the previous video, we have discussed about the evaluation process and how you're going to be assessed. In today's video, we will try to look into detail as to what are the different topics which you are going to study under the first unit that is receptive skills. So let us now find out which are the different topics related to receptive skills which you will learn and know more about during this course. As I have already explained to you, the second semester generic English course is divided into two sections. Part one is the workbook and part two is the course book. Under the workbook, there are two units. The first unit is receptive skills. These receptive skills are nothing but two of the language skills, which are reading and listening. Reading and listening are known as receptive skills because it is through these activities that we can receive information. Now, in this video, we will be discussing the various topics associated with improving your reading and listening skills. The first chapter under the unit receptive skills is prefixes and suffixes. A prefix is a group of letters which are usually placed before the root word to form a new word. So these letters or group of letters are added to the beginning of a word. Prefixes can change the entire meaning of the word. A suffix is a group of letters which are placed at the end of the root of the uh, word. The, a suffix is a word part which is usually added at the end of the word to create a new meaning. So learning prefixes and suffixes will help to enhance your vocabulary. Similarly, learning synonyms and antonyms will also improve your vocabulary. So, synonyms and antonyms are the next chapter in the unit receptive skills. English language is full of pairs of words that have very subtle distinctions between them. All writers face a very lot of challenge while choosing the most appropriate word in order to convey their ideas effectively. When we pay attention to the synonyms in our writing, that is when we are able to choose the most appropriate word, though there may be many words in the same meaning, our sentences become much more clear and rich in meaning. The next chapter is words often confused. Again, this is a topic which will help to enhance your vocabulary. Sometimes words look the same, but sound uh, different. Sometimes the words sound the same, but may look different. Knowing the difference between such similar words can be very tricky and confusing. So we need to know the most commonly confused word pairs. And not only that, we should understand the meaning of these different words and we should be able to use them in sentences. So whenever we are taking up this activity, we need to remember that we are not just going to tell the meaning of the confused pair of words, but also use both the words in sentences so that we can convey the right meaning of the words. The next chapter will be barriers to effective listening. Anything which hinders the process of uh, understanding and accurately interpreting a message which we are receiving is known as a barrier. There are different kinds of barriers to effective listening. 
when we know what are these different barriers, then we can work on it and try to resolve these issues so that we can improve our ability to comprehend various information which we receive from different quarters. The next chapter is types of listening. Generally, there are two main types of listening that is discriminative listening and comprehensive listening. So here it is basically we are trying to understand what is of importance to us and what needs to be given attention to. The three main types of listening which is most common when we are talking about interpersonal communication are informational listening, critical listening and therapeutic or empathetic listening. Information listening is listening to learn, that is to gain information. Critical listening is when we listen to evaluate and analyze concepts. Whereas therapeutic or empathetic listening is when we are listening to feel and understand the emotions of others. So knowing these different types of listening will help us to improve our listening ability, which is an important aspect of effective communication. The next chapter is techniques to improve listening. We can improve our listening skills by uh, different activities as well as by improving our work and our personal life. So, Improving listening skills can be done by proper eye contact, being alert while communicating, paying attention to other non-verbal signs and empathizing with the speaker. So you will get a good idea about these different ways by which you can improve your listening in this chapter. The last chapter in this unit is listening activities. Here, you will be given various activities which you can participate in and through by performing these activities, you will be able to improve your listening ability. In this way, this particular unit, receptive skills will help you to improve your various reading and listening techniques. You will now have a good idea about what are the various topics which you have to study under the first unit. So we will now look into each of these topics in greater detail in the next videos. I hope you like this video. Thank you.